Keane and persevering with the short mid on. Then three fielders saving a single on the leg side for Steve Smith. And uh, long leg quite square. Bought him! The big wicket. The big prize for the new boy on debut. Remember the name, Craig Overton. And Craig Overton, you remember the moment. Absolutely spot on for Steve Smith. He's been getting a little bit of movement off the seam, Overton. Probably more than any other England bowler. And on that occasion, he had it moving back into Smith. May have just clipped the inside edge, then onto the pad, and then onto the stumps. I think we see the advantage of being a tall man releasing from a high position there. It's more difficult to pick up length. I think Smith, when he looks at it, will, will wish he was a tad further forward. But that's what happens when you face these guys who are six foot six. Man back. Tim Payne won't like that. Tim Payne won't like that at all. The tactic worked. Field is spread. And that has been swiped straight to third man. So there is Cummins. He's gone straight after the dinner break. And that helps England. They can start to think about the batting now. Oh, but well taken. Very well taken. And one again, he's fielded well in that position. A couple of good catches. That one not easy coming forward. So Hazel will be the last man out for Australia. Oh, he's gone, Dave Warner, straight after the drinks break. How often do you see that? Loss of concentration and Overton getting it in the right area. He's hitting that length where you're looking to get the batsman playing a forward defensive shot. Warner probably uh, neither forward nor back. Good line, good length. I think England have done a trick on him here. Oh, that's worth a shout. Fell over a little bit there. There was a couple of noises. Now, was it an inside edge or was it bat on pad? They're going to review straight away. Murray impact in line and hitting the stumps. You need to reverse your decision. Wait for the call. You want to spring. <laughs> 